Here we are, Art Challenge 5. Alyssa came up with the concept again. Yeah, um, I decided to do another abstract one because I thought our first one with the bird was so cool. And I'm surprised I really didn't go very far from a bird. I went to a <laughs> butterfly. So I really didn't Here think about are. that then. But now looking back, I'm like, I could have done a little bit of something way different. But butterfly was works though. And it's one of my favorite like insects, I guess. Yeah. I would say animal, but it's not an animal. It's an insect. So I had a pretty good idea in the beginning. And I will... This is a, like... You are still putting a lot of paint down. <laughs> yeah. Got a lot of paint colors. I started putting paint colors down, and this is literally as I was putting paint down on my palette, decided my concept. And you'll, I'll start like sketching out what I decided. So in my brain, I thought it would be a great idea to paint the pieces of the butterfly mm -hmm. all over, but not together. Now, do I think my image turned out the way I wanted it? No. Do I like <laughs> this painting? No. But it's what I did at the time. And but it, it's not bad. You were still having a good time. It was still fun. But I'm just saying, like, even though I don't like it, maybe someone will. <laughs> yeah. It's not my favorite. It does look a, like... Oh, I was just so frustrated that I wish I did something different, but this is what I came up at the hand of what I made up, so, or at the time. But it's just very unique, and it is very abstract. Like, you went with abstract, and you yeah. ran with it. So right now I'm drawing all the tops of the wings and, like, the bottom of the wings, so that's why they're different sizes and different colors. Well, it's really hard to see that blue thing, Yeah, I huh? thought I could let's see that more. And right now, Erica is drawing this amazing outline. So, ba I, you can't fine. really see. I mean, you can kind of see it in white, but I'm sketching out my layout for. It's. I do end up drawing. It is a butterfly. Like, it is a full on butterfly shape, but mm -hmm. it is built from fire and ice. So, I. That's my concept. And filling in the bottoms of the um, wings, mm -hmm. like a shell. Because you know how like they have like the wing outline? Mm -hmm. I wanted to take it and make it more um, symmetrical and like even. So that's why I'm deciding to draw the shell. But in turn again, I'm thinking of, oh, I did that with the bird. So I'm like... <laughs> you did a, a few similar things for sure. Maybe it's just abstracts. my style. Your style for abstract. Yeah. And I went so abstract in our first one came to that. I definitely, I wanted to go with a different kind of abstract, like not using the same type of realism. Yeah. I mean, that's abstract, right? Mm hmm So, yeah, I'm doing fire and ice. So, and the top yeah. wing is, I'm painting right now as fire. Yeah. That's all I had to say for that part. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> the green, did I say the green parts are my antennas and I'm putting dots on them? No, for honestly, I thought you were drawing antennas for the longest time. With the whole purpose. time? Yeah. Oh. So those are the top part of the wings. And then I thought you were drawing flowers around it for the butterfly plant. You know, the one right in the but middle. But that's the cool thing about like art, though. Of, see, like you have this concept in your head, but somebody can visually see it differently. So maybe you didn't think it was working, but I literally thought that's what you were doing. So I was like, oh no, that works. Yeah. So it well, wasn't bad. You just didn't see it yet. Yeah. And then you do end up changing it. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> adding dots to kind of like try to. I don't know. What I was, I'm like trying to add like the dots that you would see on a monarch butterfly. Mm -hmm. It just mm -hmm. doesn't look right because they're not shaped wings like a monarch is. Like they're just circle yeah. wings. So I'm done with my flame now. I'm gonna go start working on the ice, and I'm gonna try to blend fire and ice together with my purple. So that's what I'm doing right now. We definitely like every time we went with a different concept. That just shows you how far spread our brain is. We think so differently. Yeah. One little concept and you ran our one little idea. idea. Yeah. For sure. And I 
Man, I love your little pink hair. It's so cool. Thanks. Yeah, so I think you kind of stepped back. I was trying to like think of a way to it's so pastel mm -hmm. and so it's really hard to like get out of all I could think was like April like May yeah like spring and so I was trying to co it color looked tie like it Easter. to that it looked that's what I was trying to think of Easter sorry I was trying to get you to help me oh. anyways it was like all I could feel was Easter and I'm like now they just look like eggs over okay. it it did have like your color palette was very like pastel Easter -like. and I wanted that originally but then it really like I couldn't figure out how to wait to make it not look like that but honestly I get it when I'm looking back at it why I did it that way but it just I really was not enjoying it after I finished look at it your ice I know I am I'm building an ice like icicle kind of it's so impressive Thanks. it was really actually frustrating trying to do but it but even though. look at your flame it like curves up like point that's cool i definitely i butterflies are like my favorite like insect animal whatever you want to call it but i draw them a lot and so i definitely have like that the already shape, like yeah. the shape in my head yeah like i'm i don't really need to look at anything to like base it out this was the frustrating part for me because i've never drawn like ice before or I try to even put it on paper. It almost has like a flame feel to it. But I definitely like wanted pointed. to kind of keep it like a similar shape so they went together, but I, I wanted it to look a little bit like more blocky like ice. Makes sense. Like shards of ice. Mm -hmm. but it would yeah, shards. That's it. But it would match the, the flame. Mm -hmm. And then so you're just I outlining I'm it. outlining it because I felt like it needed a little bit more pop off the paper. I feel like it, it's gonna define how your flame looks. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then like with the, like the tip of the yellow, you can hardly tell the shape. The shape of it, yeah. I will say that is one thing I need to work on is my outlining skills because I, for some reason, don't have a very steady hand when it comes to outline. Like I can draw very simple like lines and I'm fine as soon as I go to outline something I like I lose all control of my hand it's weird oh you're, you're like I can line. draw inside the line really well but what, if I'm drawing the line I can't do it it's so strange to me it's something I need to work on for sure practice mm -hmm. cause I was down like here too I was getting a little frustrated like I was like blocking it out differently than I had already here I am. Oh, you made it back. I'm going to try to add stuff. I had to walk away like usual yeah, you and think about it because I knew I wanted to add something. I just didn't know what it was. And I think I'm trying to help give you some ideas. Like if you don't like it me, like this, like way. maybe outline it and add something to it. So I only did it to like a couple. I'm like, if you're really unhappy, just add it till you, you are happy with it. Because nothing was wrong with it in the beginning. I was like, what if that's just like your background? And then you like paint something over it. I should have painted the whole butterfly <laughs> <laughs> over it. There's no, nothing so wrong right, with no, it. No, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm adding it like air cut an outline to it to maybe like try to define that it, that's a wing. Mm -hmm. So I like how it kind of turned out. Yeah. I just end up deciding that it would be too much all over the page if I did that. Yeah, you can see me, like, trying to take it but a little you know, slower. what I like about it, that I left it, is that, wow. like, it's, it doesn't look unfinished to me. It looks like they're, like, losing their dimensions by this way, like, going up the page, up the page or like down. I think you add more though. I don't think I did. Maybe I did. But yeah. even then I oh, didn't add it. Look at look at I'm trying to figure out how to put my, the body in. I've oh never gosh, actually I've never actually drawn a butterfly this way. I've always drawn it with two wings. So 
This is the first time I'm like, how does this work? I'm like, oh no, I did it wrong. <laughs> and then I actually just go with it because I'm like, well, it's on paper now. But I ended up, I'm really glad I did because I like how it turned out. I think you wanted my paintbrush. Really? I'm sure I did. I think I wanted that one in the beginning. Yeah, see here you. And then like I ruined my flame up top, so I felt like I needed no, to like. No, so I knew I added this, but I didn't keep. I kept the bottom like in the oh, background. Some, yeah, it has like that definition in the background. You know what's really interesting and to then me you is lose it, how you drew this. Why? Because what what side's the bottom and what's the top? The top is the circle. Yeah, but I think it could go. Oh, well, work. I think it could go up either way. I guess. Because a lot of the time, I feel like this would be the top. The bigger portion would be the top. I didn't even think about that. In my mind, I drew it the other way. Mm -hmm. Which I see you do. See you. You're adding. But more. I'm saying like even with the other pieces, mm -hmm. it takes away the fact that there's dimension. So it's just like pieces are falling. Yeah. Backwards rather than like. It's not taking away dimension. It's adding dimension. Well, that's what I mean. Whatever. Some pieces don't have dimension. Mm -hmm. Some pieces do. Is what I'm. See and like so you have so much background. Like I'm sitting there like I feel like I need to add something more. It needs background. So here I go. These are like, this is like always my like background. I like, I love, I don't know. I have a lot of paintings that just look you wanted to like this. so much more. And I'm like, stop right now. Put your brush down. Yeah, no, I definitely, this is like, I literally have paintings on paintings of me just with this kind of just brush style. And that's it. So yeah, but you do. You have to stop me because I would probably sit there and add way more than that. Okay. okay. So I think that's at the end of it. I end up liking mine a little. <laughs> it did. It turned out. And see, that's why I said you can't always be like harsh on yourself because in the end it will turn out and you will like it. But we. That's it. That's the video. That is our two different concepts. Uh, our abstract, abstract butterfly. butterfly. Thank you guys for watching. And See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.